Okay, so today I'm going to be taking a look at pretty much secrets revealed for the Scorpion in 2024. Um, we're going to take a look at different weapon setups, but also modules, drones, and pilot skills uh, in order to make your Scorpion uh, that much more stronger. And I think the way I'm going to go about this, we're going to start with the modules, um, move on to the drones, and then the pilot skills. And then right at the end, we'll take a look at different uh, weapon setups. Okay, so not just about the Shifang or the Lei Ming. We're going to look at like sonic weapons, um, you know, possibly cryo. Uh, if there's any other, you know, weapons I find effective, we'll take a look at all of that at the end. And then hopefully you guys can piece together, you know, all of these things and make your Scorpion strong. And don't forget, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, especially if you found it helpful. And I guess with that said, let's get started here with the modules. Okay, so when it comes to modules, I would focus on damage modules first. And the reason why you want to do that is because with the Scorpion, when you teleport to your opponent, uh, you want to make sure you inflict that damage quickly. Uh, that way you can escape and get out of there. Okay, so I do have two nuclear amplifiers on here. Um, but if you don't have these modules, uh, you want to focus on damage. Okay, so uh, that would be like nuclear reactor. Um, let's see, we have, I think thermonuclear reactor is another one. Balance unit can work as well. This one actually gives you more health and more damage. Okay, so this could work. We also have uh, overdrive, which is another good one. And then of course, nuclear amplifier. Now, if I had to choose like two damage modules, it would be overdrive and nuclear amplifier. Okay, so those two. Uh, but if you have a choice between these two, you know, you're not sure which one to purchase, go for the nuclear amplifier. This one is the best one. Um, as far as damage uh, you know module goes now I do have a last stand this is kind of important because this allows me to survive longer in my scorpion um, you don't need it to be level six uh, you could probably get away with level three I have unstable conduit okay so this one is kind of new a lot of players don't know that they did change this module to where it now locks you down it actually says here Okay, so it applies more damage, um, you get some healing, and you also lock players uh, with this. Uh, one would of caution though, with this module, it does use 70 power cells per usage. So if you don't have a lot of power cells, don't use, um, you know, this active module. Uh, because you'll burn through your power cells like water. <laughs> um, I do recommend like either repair unit instead. This one's kind of cheaper. Uh, also advanced repair. And a lot of players tend to also use phase shift. Okay, so just going back here, the ones I would use as far as, um, you know, active modules, unstable conduit, if you have a lot of power cells, uh, repair unit. Some players do use death mark. Okay, so you could also use that advanced repair and phase shift. Okay, so when it comes to drones, I would focus on damaged drones, but also any kind of drone which provides like an EMP effect. Uh, this way, when you teleport to your opponent, you can disable their ability, uh, you know, get your damage in and then get out of there. Um, I do have the Pascal drone on here, which I think is uh, one of the best drones for the Scorpion right now. Uh, you can see it provides additional damage on kill or assist bonus damage, but also resistance, making it very hard for the enemy uh, to take my uh, Scorpion down. Okay, so this is one of the best. If you don't have the Pascal, uh, you know, other options that I, you know, highly recommend. Uh, the white art drone so this one over here i think is really good the paralysis could work but i think i would um, you know gravitate more towards the beak um, so the white art the beak uh, the kestra i think is the other one that i would use and i think those are the ones that i would kind of gravitate towards uh, with the pasco being my favorite right now okay so in terms of pilot and like pilot skills i recommend the ash pilot okay so this pilot over here uh, basically when i teleport to the enemy i'm going to go into a stealth and i'll have that stealth for five seconds and uh, during that five seconds i can get my damage in and then blink out of there um, a lot of my skills are like focused around damage uh, master gunsmith uh, ferocious guardian thrill seeker um, what i recommend though uh, for the ones who are low on like power cells and they need healing um, i would substitute uh, the master gunsmith with maybe mechanic or wonder worker uh, but try to keep as much of those uh, damage skills, uh, you know, in your list of pilot skills, because I think it would really help uh, the Scorpion, especially, uh, you know, when you have that stealth. Okay, so when it comes to the best weapons for the Scorpion, you want to focus on high burst damage weapons, uh, any kind of weapon that has a fast reload time and uh, preferably 
uh, excels at close range. So close range being anything under 350 meters. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to attack this guy here. There we go. Let's get this beacon. I'm going to put up my uh, my shield. I think they might be going into a center too. I'm <laughs> just making sure that that guy's on my team. Yeah, okay, lock this guy down. Lock this guy down as well. Yeah, I think my teammate should be able to get him. Let's go for this one here. Just blink back. Can't actually move into uh, into center. There's a guy in front of me. My last stand was uh, triggered. I'm gonna have my ability here soon. Let's go for this guy. Blink back. There we go. Godlike. We're gonna attack maybe um, the Sophian. Let's go after this guy. There we go. This one's almost dead. Can we get him? There we go, nice. I'm gonna make an attack on this player. What is this guy in Hellbinner? There we go. Okay, let's try to get this beacon here. We just have a couple of seconds and then I should be able to attack. Okay, I think this play here might be a Curie. Let's get rid of the Curie. We have uh, one player trying to escape there. I have to wait for a couple of seconds here. Uh, I actually want to go for that Aphian up top. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get him. Now let's go. My teammate was able to kill him, but they have a lot of players here. Let's take out another Curie. I'll lock that player down. Uh, we have one player going into center here. I'm not sure what this guy's in, but let's uh, go for him. Oh my gosh, that's a Curie? I gotta get out of here. Oh my gosh, I took on so much damage, but we did take out that Curie. We had some really good uh, burst damage there. A lot of players on this right side. I'm going to need to wait for my uh, my ability here. Okay, so we're going to go for... I think I'm going to go for that... Uh, um, I was going to go for that Mars, but let's go for this guy down below here. Okay, so he used a uh, phase shift. I'm going to blink back. A lot of Ochos on this side. Uh, I'm just looking to see how much health these guys have. This guy's almost down to his last stand. There's uh, someone in center. Let's go for this guy. There we go. Ooh, this is the archer I got earlier. <laughs> Whoa, he sent me flying. Okay, we can get this beacon here. I think he's going after me again. I'm going to try to lock him down. Okay, last stand on him. Can we lock him down? Can we get him? Can he? Ah, oh, come on. He's so close to dying. Yes, we got him. Okay, so we have... Um one player here in center. I'm not sure what this guy is in. 
maybe an archer or something okay so i did lock him down i have to get out of there um unfortunately <laughs> this bot is not meant uh, for holding down beacons okay so we got him i think we got him down to his last stand they do have another player uh, behind that wall uh, so we're going to I want to attack this guy here. Okay, so it looks like he might have used his... Um... So we can get him. Kind of looked like he used his blinding ability, but I think it was a phase shift. Let's get this guy. Someone's going to get our back beacon... We got to stop him quickly. Now let's do this. Okay, so I did lock him down, but the thing is he got this beacon. Oh, no! I got to get out of there. Let's reload. This guy did land. I think this is the Aphian. Let's try to get him. There we go. They have a lot of crisis back there and they're going to be targeting me here soon. Yikes! <laughs> that was close. There was like two crisis back there with, I think, Reapers. Um... That guy's gone into flight. We have a blitz here, but I think we should be able to lock him down or take him out. What I'm really trying to do is get closer to the crisis. Uh, there's a couple of crisis back here. If I can get close enough, I think this guy. Okay, they're gonna go. They're gonna go out of their stealth soon because they're gonna fire up my teammate. Okay, so I think this guy. This guy here. Let's go there. Let's get out of there. Okay, so hopefully this video was able to help guide you guys in the right direction as far as building a stronger scorpion. Uh, if you found the video helpful, make sure to leave that thumbs up. And uh, with that said, thank you guys for watching. Stay safe. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.